Who came up with measurements? Oh. Why is it an inch? Why yeah. Is, yeah, 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 yeah. Most imperial measurements have been around for a really, really long time. And Romans had feet and inches. A pound from Libra Pondo. So Libra, like the scales, you know, the, the sign, the star sign. Mm -hmm. Libra, that, that's why pound is LB, by the way. That's from the scales, from the Libra. That's why it's written down as LB. And a pound, the money, by the way, was actually a pound of silver. So it was that weight of silver back in the day. Point is the same root of word as paint because it used to be the painted marks on a, on a volume measuring thing. So with mile is uh, the Roman word for a thousand. But they're all really erratic and they're all like from different places and, and all this. They were standardized in the UK in like by parliament in the 19th century. If you don't have standard measurements, it's an absolute disaster. You can't price things, you can't do science, you can't do maps, any of that kind of stuff. The 18th and 19th century in France, they decided this is nonsense. These are stupid measurements and I completely agree with them, by the way. We're going to do something a bit more logical. They came up with the metric system. How far it is from the equator to the North Pole. That is 10 million meters. That's what they said. One kilogram is one liter of water. Meter now is used, they use the speed of light in a vacuum because it's a, an absolute constant. Um, and there's like this one, however many hundreds of thousands of meters per second that it travels and it's how far it will travel in that amount of time in a vacuum. And it's all very scientifically done. But essentially the base of meters is how far it is from the equator to the North Pole and everything else comes from that. I've just, I've just learned too much too quick then. I've been bombarded there. Yeah.